Hey what's up guys Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to use the Cyanogen mod installer which is available in the Play Store. So this is very exciting news because it's the first time we can have an app that can install Cyanogen mod and root our device and unlock our bootloader. Just want to give you some information on this uh, ROM that I'm on. Basically what I did is I was on Android 4.3 on Delta ROM and that is a fully rooted ROM and it's on a leaked version of Android. And what I did is I flashed over stock LE8. LE8 is one of the oldest firmwares um, for the Galaxy S3 uh, i9-300. And the reason behind that is because it's, that's the ROM that came with my phone originally. It's based on Android 4.04. .04. Then what I did is I uh, used CF Auto Root and then use Triangle Away. And as you can see, I use Triangle Away, so my custom binary download is on no, current binary, Samsung official, system status official. And you're wondering, what am I gonna do next? Well, reason why I'm still in download mode is because what I'm gonna do is flash over LE8 again. And you might be wondering, why are you doing that? Simple reason is because I'm rooted. And I know I could get rid of root via the, the app or whatnot, but I'd rather do it like the official way. So I'm gonna be on a stock ROM, um, non-rooted, and uh, I want to install Cyanage mod. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to put it to the test. So having a non-rooted device on a stock ROM and see how easy or hard it is to do it. So this is going to be a guide on using that and doing that. And um, I'll get back to you guys after I have downloaded the app on the Play Store and prove to you that I'm not rooted. In a bit, guys. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back and I just wanted to prove to you that um, I have flashed over the ROM and as you can see, as you would expect, the custom binary download not to increase or anything like that. So I'm going to reboot and I'm going to open Titanium Backup to prove to you that root has in fact gone completely and that SU cannot be acquired. That means I am on a stock ROM uh, running a stock kernel and stock recovery and everything is stock, including the um, status count and whatnot. So I'm going to go into Play Store and I'm going to download Cyanage and Mod Installer as well and uh, see how that goes. Uh, it'll be the first time I'm doing it, so it'll be as a new experience for me as it is for you guys on the video, but obviously you'll be able to see this firsthand. So I'm going to go into Titanium Backup right here and you're going to be able to see sorry I could not acquire root privileges this application will not work the ROM is not rooted so as you can see I've got no root at all uh, therefore um, I am fully stock I'm on fully stock uh, ROM just to prove to you that I'm on LE8 as well I'm going to go into settings well, about device and show you that I'm on XXLE8 Android version 4.04 .04. so quite old as you remember me stating so we're going to put Cyanogen mod. So there we go, it takes a little while to find, but when you find it, um, it's there. And it's by CYNGN, which is Cyanogen mod. And uh, that's the app that we're looking for, not the other ones which require root or whatnot, it's this, this one. So we're going to go through the app. So we're going to go do and do, do that on the PC, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back on the PC and I'm going to download the Cyanogen mod installer. So it's telling me to disable my antivirus, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable my um, antivirus. Let's go. There we go. Just in case. So now we're going to detect the device, so in short, let's connect via USB. So that's what I'm going to do. Put Plug it in. So as you can see it says my device is the Galaxy S3 International and I'm about to install Cyanogen mod um, on there. So as you're ready, I'm going to press install and it's going to start flashing the phone. So there we go guys, it seems to have flashed over. So we're going to just wait until it uh, reboots and uh, pass the loading screen and then we'll go on to um, 
looking at uh, looking at the ROM. Right, so I'm going to get off the PC as it's finished and go down to the phone. Right, so we're going to go through the installer. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back and I just wanted to confirm that I have installed uh, CM and I am on Android 4.3 right now. Just go into my settings and show you my about phone. As you can see, I am on Android 4.3. <laughs> there we go. Android 4.3.1 uh, on my i9-300. And this was this came through an update as well, so I had an update when I first booted up the phone and uh, installed it right there, so it was pretty easy. Customized some things and was looking through the settings, looking through what I could change and whatnot, but it feels really snappy and really good. Uh, I must say, really, really impressed. And just to show you that I have got root privileges, obviously, is pretty much a given, but just to show you guys anyway, there you go, as you can see root access is acquired. I did install SuperSU but that didn't seem to work properly. Um, that doesn't really matter because I don't need SuperSU because it is included within the ROM over here. You've got Super User and here you can see Titanium Backup was granted Super User access right there. So there are certain settings over here which are really nice but what I love about the phone right now is what I expected from CM. Uh, back when I flashed it a while ago was its performance and the performance is definitely really really snappy and uh, very fast indeed so very impressed with the CM team and very impressed what they could do because I am uh, I am officially rooted and I have got CM obviously because I'm going to be rooted I'm going to be uh, on a custom ROM and I am on uh, the custom ROM of uh, CyanEngine mod and more so I am on their uh, latest um, latest build so I'm just gonna um, switch off the phone and check uh, recovery so as you can see recovery over here is v6.043 so I just thought to um, show you that as well and um, I'm also going to um, enter download mode and see what is the flash counter and whatnot. What does that do to our flash counter? It shouldn't really matter. Um, people shouldn't care so much about the flash counter. A lot of people are worried about it. But uh, there you go. I'm on um, custom and my system status, however, is on official. So just thought to share that with you because some people are concerned about it. I'm not sh too sure why. Um, just generally because this screen should only be um, you should only be worried about that if you want to RMA it uh, or sell the phone on. But apart from that, you shouldn't be too worried about that flash counter or the, the custom binary or whatever. Because if you're going to be on a custom ROM, that's what's going to happen. But I thought to share this with you and thought to show you it because I know some people are, are, are bound to ask me or uh, ask me, um, tell me about that and worry about it. So there you go. So yeah, there you go guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give this um, a thumbs up and um, share this with your friends and make sure you comment below on what you thought about that. I think it's a big improvement to see a app that really does do everything and um, anyone can really do it. Um, just make sure you do back up certain things like your EFS and whatnot. Do make sure you back them up. I made sure I backed up my EFS just in case if anything's going to happen to my phone. I've got a backup. So backups are really important, guys. Do make that uh, backup. It only just takes a um, couple of seconds to back up an EFS and um, or do an Android or whatever uh, you desire. So do make sure you do that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, I am very happy and I've installed CM with uh, relative ease there was not much um, not much into it all I had to be is a little bit patient in terms of waiting for it uh, to install but apart from that guys hope you've enjoyed this video and um, yeah uh, hope you, yeah hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah see you guys soon totally dubbed out bye bye